So unfortunately, it looks like Tana Mojo's boyfriend or even ex-boyfriend cheated on her. And if you're someone who's ever been cheated on, there's definitely some lessons that we can learn from this situation. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community or pop culture in general and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So two big fat disclaimers at the beginning of this video. The first one is I'm not gonna refer to this garbage dude as his real name. I'm gonna call him fake Justin Bieber because that's how everybody knows him. That's what I'm gonna call him. Second off is, I don't know Tana Mojo. I don't know what's going on. This is pure, pure speculation. I'm gonna talk just as somebody who's been cheated on, somebody who has had to grow as a man, as a boyfriend, as a human being, all right? But if for some reason, Tana, if you ever watch this video, my heart goes out to you, girl. It looks like you have a lot of support. It looks like your fans are there for you. You have a lot of amazing friends, all right? So anyways, yeah, basically what happened today on Twitter, Tana released a series of tweets and the first one was a broken heart emoji, followed by how could you break the heart of someone you love for moments with someone else? I love you guys more than anything. Thank you for never hurting me. All right, so it looks like, it looks like fake Justin Bieber was messaging another woman over on Snapchat and it looks like he was flirting with her. So I think, I think at this point in time, I don't know if we know if he actually cheated, but emotional cheating is, as bad if not worse right when you're in a relationship like you want that person you want to be you know um connected they rely on you for you know your comfort same goes and vice versa right so when dudes or women can do this too i've had it happen to me are out there texting messaging and things like that and it's not a good situation so the first thing let's talk about and this is for all of you all of you out there who have ever been cheated on or anything like that like remember like okay in this specific situation with tana mojo this girl was dating down like this guy fake justin bieber like how long was he gonna let this lucky streak go on before he finally just screwed it up first off this fool got famous for pretending to be justin bieber eating a burrito the wrong way and that's how he blew up second off is he got to date up and date tana mojo and gain a following and have a, a very loyal girlfriend by his side and this dude decided to screw that up like what is going on and this goes for a lot of you out there a lot of you who have been cheated on in this way like you're a good person you're a great person so if I had any message to all of you or Tana, if you ever watch this, like, this is not you. You are not the problem. You are good enough. You are fine. You are perfect. You are amazing. All right. When this kind of stuff happens, it is purely on the other person's end. So the first thing I want to talk about is insecurity. Okay. Cheating comes from a place of insecurity in most cases. So fake Justin Bieber, he has his own problems. He is in his own issues and this is why he's doing it. And this is one of the reasons why I try to promote people learning how to love themselves and having self-compassion because Typically people who are going out there and they're cheating or they're messaging other men or they're messaging other women, whatever the case is, it's that they don't feel good enough. And the thing is, again, this isn't about you, it's about them. No matter how much love, no matter how much affection, no matter how much attention you give to this specific type of person, it's never enough. So it's not that you weren't doing enough, it's not that you weren't giving them enough love or attention. The reality is, is that it's almost like I kind of explain it to people, it's like it's like a glass with a hole in it, right? So no matter how much you try to fill it up, it's always emptying back out. And that's how some people are. So no matter if they have the perfect girlfriend or the perfect boyfriend, perfect husband or perfect wife, whoever it is, it's never enough. So what happens is, is based on that insecurity, because in their mind, if, if maybe you don't even text them back fast enough or you didn't call them that day or you weren't showing them enough attention in their perception of how much attention they need, they can start straying away. I've seen in some cases where an argument, right? Like a stupid, silly argument can make the other person just go out and text another guy or another girl. You see what I mean? And that comes from a place of insecurity. They don't think they're good enough. So what happens is typically, typically in these situations, they are trying to get attention from somewhere else because they're like, 
oh, you're not giving me attention right now, I'm gonna message somebody else. I've seen this happen, I've, I've just, I've had friends tell me about this and everything, I've had this, have this conversation with them, where basically they catch the other person texting or messaging another person just because they didn't text their boyfriend at the right time that day, right? So the second this other person doesn't get that text, they're already in their phone saying, who can I message to get this attention? It's, it's almost like an addiction. And this is another reason, like, it's an unpopular opinion, but why I say it is so beneficial for many, 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 many people to stay single until they can learn how to love themselves. Like, I've been dating my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, for over two years now, but I was single for a very, very long time because I had to learn how to love myself. And what that meant was, no matter who I dated, no matter who I was with, and until I learned how to love myself, there was nothing the other person could do to make me feel better. So if you're somebody who's like that and you're like addicted to getting attention from the the other person or just from people in general like really take a look at yourself and there's options to do this like one of the best books i ever read was real love by sharon salzberg therapy is a great way to do this there's also loving kindness meditations where you learn how to love yourself those are also very beneficial now that first topic about insecurities men women it can happen to anybody the second topic i want to talk about when it comes to fake justin bieber pulling this crap is specific to masculinity. Now, this isn't all men, okay? But there are many men who it's just, it's, it's, it's difficult to even say, like as a man, but hey, I'll get you, I'll get you like some, some male perspective. Like I grew up and I was like playing sports, I was a jock and you know, went to the gym and I was so tough, I used to go into mosh pits, big tough guy, but men are, constantly trying to impress one another. And sometimes, sometimes what dudes will do is they'll cheat or they'll be like talking to another woman or you whatever, just for these like bragging rights to their friends. You see what I mean? And if we get back down to the root of it, another one, uh, 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 this also goes back to a form of insecurity. They don't feel manly enough. So in order to appear more manly, what they do is they'll chat with other women or they'll cheat or they'll do some other scumbag behavior. So this is one of the things, like there, there's been some stuff going on on Twitter lately and I won't name names, but I feel like a lot of a lot of men, like it's getting better, it's getting better in 2019, but there are still a lot of men who don't like talking about their feelings, right? Um, because if they talk about their feelings, it's gonna make them look weak. You, you see what I mean? But the thing is, when we don't talk about our feelings, if we don't allow ourselves to get vulnerable, dumb stuff like this happens. You see what I mean? So again, I hope this gives you some insight if you've ever been cheated on or you've ever found yourself in a situation like Tana Mojo is in with fake Justin Bieber. Like, just remember, it is not you, it is them. They are dealing with their own issues. And if I'm being 100% real right now, if I'm being 100 right now, like, good. This is a good thing, you know why? Because you're in a relationship where you are never, ever, ever going to fulfill that person's needs because they have their own emotional issues. So thank God it's over, now you can move on, now you can find the right guy or girl or whoever it is who will be the right one for you where you don't need to constantly be giving them the love and attention that they feel that they need in order to fill that void that they have inside. All right, so again, I hope this video helps give some insight to some people. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, and get involved in our monthly Q&A and all that other stuff, click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.